Hi everyone, my name is Rona Mariah. Thank you all so much for coming out today. I'm here today to talk to you about my script, like it was a game, and before I begin, I would just love to thank my advisor, Carrie Preston, who is here uh, in this room. So thank you so much for helping me with this project. Uh, this script is in the tradition of documentary theater. Now, when I say that, you might have an impression that documentary theater is like documentary film. Somebody goes, they do interviews, almost in a research uh, sort of way. Documentary theater is a little bit different. Um, for our purposes, we can define it as a theatrical performance, usually involving the use of transcripts, interviews, nude bro nude news broadcasts, video footage, or poetry used in verbatim form on stage. Of course, there are nuances to this, but uh, for our purposes, this is what we're gonna use. Uh, if any of you have heard of or seen things like The Laramie Project or um, Anna Devere Smith's Notes from the Field, both of which are on HBO, by the way, and I highly recommend them, uh, those would be textbook examples. Uh, the main question that I wanted to explore with documentary theater is, what are the processes behind creating a documentary piece about Syrian refugees? Documentary theater uh, is a form that is traditionally used in social justice contexts. Um, this can be traced back to the plays of Brecht, who wanted to uh, separate people from thinking that what they were watching was, enter was entertainment. He wanted to sort of wake them up. Uh, if any of you have heard the term verfremds uh, don't effect, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, uh, that's sort of the intention of uh, bringing social issues to light. Uh, in terms of refugee theater, a lot of times uh, they are centered around Middle Eastern refugees. Uh, we'll see what happens with the Ukrainian crisis, of course, but uh, this issue was especially prevalent uh, in Europe where a lot of uh, theater makers were white Europeans. Uh, so I decided to write a script uh, tackling the different questions of the ethical complexities of putting on a play like this. Uh, so here's a short overview of my script, which I will read to you now. Five students set out to put on a documentary play with interviews they collected from fieldwork among displaced Syrian populations. In rehearsals for the play, arguments arise about how to ethically portray Syrian refugees without getting into problematic territory. Were these students doing the right thing in the right way? So I decided to put uh, the story set within a play within a play kind of context because oftentimes when you see a work, especially uh, in social justice sector, uh, there's the impression that everybody was on the same page and everybody uh, was totally in like the same field of mind when they were putting on this project and everything was united, which of course is not true. If you've been part of any behind the scenes theatrical production, it's uh, often the same thing that happens in different contexts. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't too much evidence of this in terms of making documentary theater about refugees because they want to give the impression that um, everybody is united in the same uh, endeavor of putting on uh, a show where everything looks like it's going very swimmingly. Dramatic reading time. Uh, my dear friend, Mei Li Chen, has uh, volunteered to read a short excerpt from my script. Uh, this is towards the beginning of the play. Uh, a character named Celeste, who is a student, um, is engaged in, um, in uh, doing the work, but she's a little skeptical about how to say words that aren't hers, from, especially from her being from a population that, um, ha or being a person that hasn't experienced forced displacement. So I'll invite Ailey up to read. Hi, Mom. Is Dad there? I need to talk to you guys. No, it's not an emergency. Uh, everything's fine, I promise. <laughs> Hi. So, I'm working on the play. M Mom, I told you about it like a million times. It's the refugee play. <sighs> Remember when I went to Lebanon on that trip over the summer to interview people? Yeah, that's what it was for. <laughs> We're using the interviews as dialogue because it's supposed to be more authentic, Dad. I mean, it's not exactly authentic because we're taking a lot of things out of context and cutting things down, but I guess that comes with the territory? Yeah, we're gonna act it out. I thought it was gonna be an easy thesis. It's not. Well, that's what I wanna talk to you about. If a foreigner came to you when you were living in a shelter 
and asked you to give them some interviews for a play, how would you guys feel about it? Do you think it would be weird to know that a stranger was gonna say the things that you said but were pretending to be you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I think it would be weird in the moment, but then I would move on with my life. But I've never been in that situation, so I don't really know. This is so hard. I know I'm trying not to overthink things, but it's hard to detach. That's why I'm asking. If you don't want me to do it, I won't. I know, but decisions are hard. Yes, I, I want to, I think. I, I just don't want to disrespect people and I don't want to disrespect you. Well, you went through some of this stuff too. I know it's not the same thing, but still. Uh, I just don't know how you guys would feel if someone did this to you. I believe this is a great way of using our research as opposed to a paper that just goes to a journal where everyone agrees from the refugee crisis is bad. I want to know what you guys think. I won't do it if you tell me not to. Are you sure? Okay. Sorry for waking you up. I'll try not to think about it. All right. Love you. Thank you so much, Maylee. All right, so you've, read, you've heard a little bit of that, but why did I write a script? Uh, and I believe that if I question other people and their processes, it's only fair to question myself. So here's some things that I want to let you know about my process in writing this script, because I am definitely not perfect. Uh, for the play within the play within the script, I used excerpts from Wendy Perlman's book, uh, We Crossed a Bridge and It Trembled, which is a compilation of interviews she conducted in multiple uh, Syrian refugee populations. Uh, I used that uh, material without permission from the author and out of, outside of its original context. And uh, I did not put on a documentary play. I did not go out and do my own interviews, but rather I put on a theatrical script, which you know, might be, which might lead you to question, am I devaluing uh, the message I'm trying to convey? And those are exactly the questions I want you to ask. If I want you to get anything out of this presentation is that consider something you're watching, if, especially if it claims itself to be documentary, what exactly is going on? So some considerations, especially if you're watching theater, who is the work made by? You know, is somebody who is not of a refugee background creating work about refugees? Uh, what is this person's intention? Uh, who does the work benefit? Because especially uh, when you get to levels of plays being uh, highly publicized or having high prestige, sometimes tickets can go for triple or even double dig uh, quadruple digits. Uh, we all know what happened with Hamilton. So um, is that really conveying the message that these people want to convey? Is the work accurately and genuinely portraying the subject? Again, especially if you are not of the population you're trying to portray or the work that you're conveying uh, within your documentary play. And uh, finally, what does documentary really mean? Yes, you can document something, but what's the context that uh, is being used or, the, or uh, being warped in a way that fits a narrative that the creator is trying to show you? And last slide. Um, for our 522 class, we were asked to create one slide which uh, conveys our project in a visual sense, and I made this, and I will leave you with that. Uh, I welcome any questions. Awesome work. Questions? Yep. I could start. Oh. I think it's so cool that you did the play within the script within the play, or the, you know, the yeah. many levels of meta-ness. And I'm wondering during this process, what was it like writing about something that was essentially also what you were doing and questioning it at the same time? Because I know people deal with self-doubt a lot during these projects already, but I can imagine that might just be amplified, or maybe it wasn't, so I'm really interested to hear about that. Yeah, the self-doubt was definitely there. Um, actually, before I was doing the script, I was writing a paper, and 
uh, when I realized that the paper wasn't really getting anywhere and I was thinking that maybe it would be more beneficial to me to write a script, one of the big considerations I had was, you know, am I, like, what does this say about me? Like, what are the, like, what are the things that I have to face in uh, writing a script? And that was definitely scary, but I think at the end of the day, it was a better context in which to ask these questions. And for me, it's helpful to come up with theoretical situations in which like people have to face um, the things that are complicated but ultimately rewarding if they're done correctly. I'm scared. This is a brilliant script. Rona, what's next? What would, <laughs> what would you do with this next? Um, yeah, so we talked about this a little bit. Uh, I would love to have a reading of it, uh, a table read, and of course the biggest barrier to putting on the script is uh, the excerpts that I used from Wendy Perlman. Um, I think I would either have to obtain her permission or do something that uh, maybe changes the play within play in a way that allows me to, you know, sort of put this on without any limitations. But um, I did work hard on the script and I would love to see it put up one day. Uh, I think you mentioned this briefly, but I was wondering if you could elaborate, what are some of the challenges with documentary theater about refugees or perhaps about Syrian refugees as opposed to documentary theater about other things? I think you mentioned the Laramie Project as an exemplar that I believe was about like a hate crime but for LGBT plus things. Right. So, so uh, for those of you who don't know, the Laramie Project is a play about uh, a hate crime that happened in Laramie, Wyoming against a gay college student. And in that case, uh, the, tectonic the, in the people from the Tectonic Theater Company who went to do research for that play, I think about half of them uh, were part of the gay community. So uh, it was definitely you know, controversial in the town because in a small town that was sort of only known by this tragedy, they, like the people didn't want to sort of have that publicized in a big sphere, and especially when the Laramie Project did blow up, um, there was a lot of like, you know, controversy within the town. But I think for refugee theater, especially from the Middle East, from the Middle East in particular, is an interesting case because many times um, the people who make this theater, or at least the people who set out to say, I'm going to make documentary theater about refugees, are not refugees, and most of the time they're not Middle Eastern either. Um, I think also theatrical traditions are different. Let's say in something like when you're documenting a hate, when you, you're documenting a hate crime in the United States, you still have the theatrical tradition of being in the United States and sort of having that kind of um, connection. In the Middle East, you have things like culture barriers, language barriers. Uh, so I think it it's more murky territory, in my opinion, if you're doing it uh, in a different marginalized uh, population. Thank you.